Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, it is the day before Christmas Eve. I had some time today and last night to work on my personal amplifier here, the 160 through 15 meter 366000 A7. I'll get back on the customer's amplifiers next week. Multi-band ham amps. So I'll go over everything I did real quick. Okay, so I plugged up the hole back here with some aluminum sheet. And then I mounted the 716 DIN connector to it. I installed part of the output network. So this is half inch OD, 3 8 OD. 3 8 tubing was inserted into half inch tubing, squished soldered and I put a screw through it through a two inch tall standoff, ceramic standoff. So I have one over here, one over here, a piece of copper, copper sheet that is wrapped around it with a, drill, with a screw through it, screw a nut, and soldered really well. So I'll end up putting another standoff over here, the chassis. So this coil has some pre-inductance to it and it also covers 15 and 20 and this coil covers 40 and 80 and this last coil here will cover 160 it has to be cut down and compressed a bit and then it'll be installed so this has extra turns right now and it'll be installed basically over here on standoffs so it'll be shorter but you can see plenty of clearance okay so I cut two copper circles. The stainless bolts aren't in all the way. I need to get washers and split washers. But I will put a brass quarter inch bolt up through up through this, facing up. It'll act like a stud. I'll solder it to the copper. So all the connections are from the, the one from the 160 coil that goes back to load cap, load cap to the band switch, and everything else will you know, anything going to the capacitors will be, uh, we'll have a bolt going through it, connect to the stud, and be soldered. So just really good connections. I always believe in really good connections. Um, okay, so I'll be using the copper strap for the connections to the actual coil. I have, uh, I think it's one inch wide strap. All right, so I put in two RJ2Bs in parallel for the output switching. Parallel the contacts. This is the normally closed contact, and the one on that one I squished it and folded it sideways so I could get them nice and close, just like I did on the six meter amps. So basically, same setup with these. Panels are so thick they won't flex. I didn't have to use that braided material. I was able to just parallel this side over here. This is the common side, and I took the copper strap, I took a piece of copper strap, folded it, folded the uh, edges inward and stuffed it into the 716 DIN, soldered it really well, have over a quarter inch between the center and ground inside. That's more than you have uh, with the actual connector between the center pin and the body of the connector. And like I said, the terminals are Tied together with strap, soldered really well, and then that strap coming off the connector, very short, it's less than an inch, comes up and folds over, and was uh, squished, you know, so folded, crimped, whatever, and soldered. Okay, so I'll be using SFT 600 for the output coax. It's like LMR 600, but the Teflon dielectric, awesome stuff. FEP jacket and uh, that's about it for now it's just these little things just take a lot of time you know, just lots of time you know, just fabricating that little bracket figuring out where I want to put it and then you know uh, getting it all set up so little by little but next I'll put the coax in and then the coil and I'm getting there coming out nice. Once again, my own personal amp, 
not for sale, so please don't ask. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see when the next video comes up. When you'll get a notification, hit the subscribe button, and you'll find out right away. But I have other videos on this project. Just look back at my channel, and you can see the progress uh, going from an empty cabinet. Well, I already had the socket and chimney in um, from before, but you know I had this constructed. Why well, I explained all that? But so if you want to see the birth of this to its current condition, look back at my other videos. So, thanks for watching. Everybody have a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 73.